An ounce of action is worth a ton of theory. If there were no French women, life wouldn't be worth living. Thus, as far as he is a scientific man, as far as he knows anything, he is a materialist outside his science and spheres about which he knows nothing. He translates his ignorance into Greek and calls it agnosticism. The emancipation of woman will only be possible when woman can take part in production on a large social scale and domestic work no longer claims anything but an insignificant amount of her time. The middle classes have a truly extraordinary conception of society. They really believe that human beings have real existence only if they make money or help to make it. All that is real in human history becomes irrational in the process of time. The free development of each is the condition for the free development of all. Do you charge us with wanting to stop the exploitation of children by their parents? To this crime we plead guilty. What is good for the ruling class is alleged to be good for the whole of society with which the ruling class identifies itself. What each individual wills is obstructed by everyone else and what emerges is something that no one willed. A change in quantity also entails a change in quality. The modern individual family is founded on the open or concealed slavery of the wife. Within the family he is the bourgeois and his wife represents the proletariat. In this sense, the theory of the communists may be summed up in the single sentence abolition of private property. But the degradation of the women was avenged in the men and degraded them also until they sank into the abomination of boy love. Let the ruling classes tremble at a communistic revolution. The proletarians have nothing to lose but their chains. They have a world to win. The executive of the modern state is but a committee for managing the common affairs of the whole bourgeoisie. Actually, each mental image of the world system is and remains limited objectively by the historical situation and subjectively by its author's physical and mental constitution. The dangerous class, the social scum, that passively rotting mass thrown off by the lowest layers of old society may, here and there, be swept into the movement by a proletarian revolution. Its conditions of life, however, prepare it far more for the part of a bribed tool of reactionary intrigue. In the family, he is the bourgeois, the woman represents the proletariat.